is 27. Both fighters six foot five inches tall. Both fighters taking advantage of that one pound allowance. Greg Hardy with the slightest of reach advantages. All right, now for the introductions, we go back inside of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. Five wins, one loss. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 266 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, one, the cracker. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a big martial artist holding a professional record. Four wins, one loss. He stands 65 inches tall, weighing in at 266 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Craig, Prince of War, Hardy. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliotta with a big assignment here tonight. Juan Adams has been asking for this fight for the better part of two years. He gets it tonight. We'll see if it's a case of be careful what you wish for. Greg Hardy is in black. Juan Adams is in gray. Minus 115 on both sides. Hardy lands the early jab. I think they just went jab for jab, to be honest. Just exchanging jabs. Hard jabs, though. Two massive men in there. Every time they press forward, the octagon shakes. Early shot from Adams. Wizard by Hardy. Stuffs the first two down. And Juan's eating big shots, guys. Those are heavy. Those hurt. He's hurt. Big shots right on the ear. What is going on? You got to move if you're Juan Adams. That's a lot of heavy, hard shots. I don't know what's going on. Juan Adams there. better move that tip. Craig Hardy knocks Juan Adams out in round one. And that has got to feel good for Prince of War. Adams with an immediate protest, but Mergliata called for him to move. He didn't. And Greg Hardy he was hurt. gets it done TKO. by TKO. Yeah, you can't eat that many shots and expect to, to argue. You just can't sit there on a single leg and expect to argue. And Steve Mako, American top team, the wrestling regimen, certainly paying dividends. One shot from Juan Adams. Greg Hardy was able to defend it, and the finish came shortly thereafter. Here's how it went down. It was a beautiful wizard, as you see here. He sprawls out, and he, belly, he almost bellies out Juan Adams, and that's just not utilizing the single well. He needs to get to his knees right now, never on your hip in a wrestling match ever, and that's why, because it takes too long to get back. All these punches you gotta eat with all that weight on top of you. I mean, I don't even know how many that is, but you can't expect to argue this. You just can't, you have to defend yourself. And he's out, you're not trying for a takedown here unless you're out. Like right here, he tries, good wizard, good strength by Hardy, but realistically, you should never land on your hip, ever. And you got to get to your knees, but I really believe those first couple shots just hurt Adam very bad. I mean, that's when you got the max power is in the first minute of this fight, especially Hardy. Well, for Hardy in his previous two UFC appearances, he was a big favorite. He was not that tonight, and he gets the biggest win of his mixed martial arts career. We will talk to the former NFL Pro Bowler after this as we continue live from the great state of Texas.
In the second episode of Detail from the mind of Daniel Cormier, DC breaks down the fighting style of the notorious Conor McGregor. Certainly one you won't want to miss. You can see it this Monday morning exclusively on ESPN+. Plus. All right, to make this one official, into the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliato is called to stop to this contest at 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by T.A.O. Craig, Prince of War Hardy!